Welcome guys, guess what time it is? It's lunch time. Today for lunch I am making some couscous and I'm going to incorporate the ingredients you see before me. I am using my wild tuna bean and corn salad to incorporate in my couscous. This is something to have on hand. Couscous is super simple to make. One cup of couscous to one cup of boiling water. Cover it, let it sit until it absorbs all the moisture. Fluff it with a fork. Mix in your ingredients that you want to add to it and that's it. It's super simple. And it's a great item to just have on hand so that you can make something, put it in the refrigerator and it could be a side dish to add to your meals. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna just pour this one cup of hot water into my couscous, cover it up, and let it sit and think about things. Work the magic. That's it. Maybe just a little bit more to top. Make sure everything is covered. Because I didn't fill it completely up. There we go. That should be good. This doesn't take very long at all. Maybe 15 minutes. I'm just going to cover it with a little towel over top of that. Let that steam and heat from that water work its magic. And I'll be back to prepare my dish. Let's check this out. It's been almost 15 minutes. I'm going to peel it back. Take my fork in there and see what's happening. Oh yeah, it's time to work the magic and prepare the dish. Fluff it up. Perfect, guys. See how simple that is? It doesn't take any time to do this. All right, I'm just gonna mix my ingredients. I've also decided I'm going to add a little bit of cottage cheese as a side item for my dish. And I'm going to get a bowl out. I'm going to squeeze my lime on top, put my tuna and bean mixture on top, mix my cilantro and feta cheese, and have a great healthy lunch. I'll be back. I've got everything ready to go. I'm just going to start dumping things in. This is my tuna and bean mixture with corn. I'm just putting that in there. All right. Then I'm going to put in my cilantro and feta cheese. And then I'm going to squeeze in my lime that I've cut up. That's going to be my dressing on this. And there's already oil added to the tuna mixture, so I don't need to add any oil. And this is going to bring huge flavor and also help preserve it. While I keep it in the fridge because this is a several dish that I'm a uh, meal that I'm making here, so it's not just going to be done today. All right, my other half of my lime, squeeze that in there. It smells so good. If there's anything left to give, a little. All right, I'm gonna mix it around. Just incorporate everything, break that up. And this would be great to have on top of lettuce and tomato. I am completely in need of going to the grocery store. So I'm making do with the ingredients that I have 
and I'll be going this afternoon. So be watching for a video on my grocery trip. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my bowl and I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of cottage cheese just for a little bit of extra something something. All right, I'm gonna just put a couple of good spoonfuls in my bowl. And then I'm gonna to top with my good cultured cottage cheese. Just a couple spoonfuls on the top. This stuff is so good, guys. If you haven't tried it yet, you gotta try it. It's my favorite. And it's good, healthy, clean ingredients, which is not the case for a lot of cottage cheese out there. And that's it, guys. Super simple, healthy, delicious, and nutritious lunch. Remember, make good choices. Remember to subscribe, like, and share my videos. And I will see you next time for more healthy meals. Bye.